Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the 7 Hertz 71. Um, it is a little USB dongle DAC thing. Um, I thought that this looked like a really cool option because usually I use a Apple dongle, like I use an iPhone. So I will use the lightning version of this. Um, they also make a USB-C version of the Apple dongle and they're both really good pieces of equipment. But the issue is on higher end headphones, you do not get as much power as you may want to. So I was hoping this thing looks bigger. It's got a light on it. Um, all that kind of stuff. So I thought it might be a good option for say, if I want to use my uh, DT 770s uh, that I could just plug those in, use them as well. Um, a, a dongle DAC is a lot more convenient now that the headphone jacks are not really built into phones anymore, especially the iPhones. Um, dongle DACs are a necessity. Um, so I was thinking if I could use something like this, now for me, because I have an iPhone, I'd only be able to use it on my laptop. But even that being the case, it would be a really convenient option that would allow me not to have to use the big um, chit stack that I have that is a good headphone amplifier. I've got that with an equalizer. Um, that's called the shit Loki as well as the, the Modi, but it's a whole stack and it's just a whole thing. So I was hoping that I'd be able to use this Instead, get more power out of it, get a good sound, and uh, be able to use that instead of having to have a whole uh, amplifier uh, set up. Um, the short version of the story, if you're curious, is that this, at least compared to the American version of the Apple dongle, it really doesn't give you any more power. I used a decibel meter and put them side by side and essentially they were the same. So this isn't going to give you that extra bump of power that you may want on some of your higher end headphones. What it does do is light up and tell you the different uh, bit rates and levels that you're getting in terms of the audio quality. Me, myself, I don't really care much about that. Um, I did a lot of side-by-side -side versus, you know, premium services versus um, YouTube music. I've done NPR has a really cool uh, test that you can do uh, to test whether you can really tell the difference between high bit rate and not. And a short version of that story is if you can hear anything, I think it's incredibly small. And I think that your effort is a lot better spent rather than trying to get the highest bit rates in terms of equalization of the equipment that you have, buying the best gear, especially the headphone part of it. I really don't think that the, the bit rate until you get very low on the quality really makes that big of a difference at all. So that being said, we just kind of come down to power and making sure that uh, your equipment is of a good quality. And this is good quality. Um, it definitely is uh, good looking. It's got kind of like a heavy duty monster truck kind of feel to it. Um, it feels much more substantial than an Apple dongle. As you can tell, there's a, a big size difference and the the audio quality feels very similar, but it also uh, it gives you a little bit warmer sound. So if that's something that you're interested in, you could definitely check it out. Now, the reason I was so interested in this is that at a $35 price point, um, it's finally worth it to me. It doesn't make any sense to me, a lot of these uh, dongles that come out. Um, so at, at the $100 price point, you can get a Qlix 5K. The Qlix 5K gives you Bluetooth, it gives you wired connections, it gives you balanced, unbalanced, it gives you a good power bump, it gives you a good built-in battery, it gives you mic pass-through, and it gives you a full app with all kinds of equalization opportunities, which is awesome, especially if you're an Apple user. It's like the only way that you can do that on iOS. So it gives you all these functions. So to me, that's the bar. Like you have to show that you have value in comparison to that. And a lot of these dongles are, what are they? You know, they're $50 or $70, whatever it is. How, how does that make any sense where for $100 you can get so much for the Qlix? Now I have a, a review if you wanna see all the cool features of the Qlix, you can check that out and I recommend that you do. But in terms of the, the value, it's an amazing value. So you've got that. And the reason this is interesting is that it is only $35. If it's $70, then I'm not interested in it because like I said, the Qlix is such a good value. It just doesn't make any sense. And you can buy an Apple dongle for you know $8. So unless it's got a feature set that gives you a lot better look than that, I don't see what the point of it would be to even try it. 
unless you're really curious about the bit rate, you want it to light up, that kind of thing. I really don't see that there's a lot of value to it. Now, if you've got like a Razer gaming PC or something and you just want it aesthetically, there's nothing wrong with it. It sounds just fine. Um, but I will advise you that at least in the US, now this is probably something that I should mention, is that in the US, the USB-C version and the lightning version of the Apple dongle is supposedly at a volt where in the EU it's only about a half. If that's the case, then you would get significantly more power out of this and it might be a good value to you. If they had a significant bump up in, in power or even like a 20%, like it would have made a big difference, but my DB meter measured them almost identical. Now I will say, again, I love the Qlix 5K. It's awesome. It's this really cool device. You know, it's small. It feels very substantial though. Like it, like it's going to last you a long time. Um, it's a really good piece of equipment. It, you know, you can snap on it. You can buy an adapter for it so that it can plug into, um, directly into a computer. Like you can use it as, um, your primary, uh, DAC amp. If you wanted to, you can literally plug it straight into your computer. It works in a wired mode, which gives you a higher fidelity than the wireless mode. And then you can walk around, you can use it wirelessly if you want to. I've used it Bluetooth on my pocket. And then I've also used it, you know, plugged in using one of these OTG cables and you can use the OTG cable to plug it directly into your iPhone. So you can get a high bit rate that way, or you can use it Bluetooth. I've also used it as a device just to make phone calls. You can use it you could put on a pair of headphones that just have a mic on it or whatever, you know, however, what kind of wired uh, device that you use for making phone calls, as long as it's three and a half millimeter, plug that into the Qlix, then have the Qlix wirelessly connect to your phone. And now you've got a, a wireless, I mean, wired slash wireless. But if you guys haven't played with EQ, I really recommend that you do. A little bit of EQ can take some crappy sounding headphones and make them sound amazing. If you've never done it, it it's essentially, it'd be like buying a pair of pants and refusing to use a belt with it. I mean, it just makes a huge difference and there's no reason to not try it because it, it could really improve the quality of the audio you're getting. And especially if you're on a budget, that can be a huge difference. Um, there are also free apps for Windows that you can use. I've also done, I did a short like five, 10 minute setup on how to use Equalizer APO, which is a great option to get you started. And that won't even cost any money. You just plug it right into your PC, start playing around with it and see if you like the changes that you get in sound when you do it that way. So anyway, that's my spiel. Um, I wouldn't recommend this over an Apple dongle if you can just get, or not, <laughs> not that. This, I would not recommend this over the Apple dongle if you do have access to it. One's $8, one's $35. They basically do the same thing. I don't think that being able to see the bit rate is worth the extra money. I definitely don't see and haven't heard yet from anybody that can justify why you'd want to buy something that looks like this, it's 50 or 70 or $100, when you can get a Qlix that has an incredible value, this huge feature set, and this thing doesn't do really much of anything uh, different than what a dongle can do from Apple, which is um, under $10. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. What kind of dongles do you use? Um, how do you connect to it? Have you tried the Qlix? Just let me know your thoughts. If there's some kind of good value option in a dongle and, and some, you know, the price to performance ratio has got to be there. I'd be glad to pick that up and try it too. Cause I'd love for there to be like an under, you know, 35, under $35 option that gives you more power than Apple comes out with. And that is available worldwide where we don't have to caveat everything with the Apple in terms of where the availability is for it and that you can get it some places, but you can't get it other places, so on and so forth. So anyway, thank you for watching. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. So thank you so much for all the support everybody's given me. Any questions that you have or any uh, thoughts you have for future videos, I'd, I'd love to hear it, especially on the value side segment until I'm actually got partnerships where people can send me stuff, buying equipment every month that costs hundreds of dollars. Um, it gets very expensive as you can imagine after a while. So I may just concentrate basically on value segment stuff until we grow to the point where I can start, you know, getting equipment, you know, shared to me and things like that. And I can start doing, um, other reviews, but anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like comment. If you would subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. So many of the people that watch these do not subscribe. I really appreciate every one of the subscribers. Um, thank you so much for all the support and you guys have a great day.